Uh, please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. <laughs> Hallow's Hope. Chapter 2. Uh, did you say Hallow's Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal. Now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going <laughs> to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is going to hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter Jason Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell. How you doing? How long has it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. He's right. a liar, so I'll go win the lie. So. Peter Quill. I found these items in the... Uh, Space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53 under galactic law ZXB-47. I am putting you and your crew under arrest. For Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon system is <laughs> four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class 3 biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop <laughs> at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be her boarding party. Silence, prisoner. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paper. I fixed it with an addendum. <laughs> Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero. Often grumpy. <laughs> Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? 
It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry. Excuse me. I just need to... That's okay. Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I <laughs> should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith energy, talk too much no as power. Always. No power. No containment. <gasps> a single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier like Grand Raker. Unifier? Leader scanners. of the Church of... Universal... Hmm. Something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Apparently. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just to be no! super clear you on the mom thing. you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Oh, see? <clears throat> ah, this isn't weird at all. Uh, doing great. Okay. That was kind of amazing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna make it all the way up. Thanks. There. Yeah, mom wouldn't be impressed if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a glass door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here. Help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. Uh, uh, press it uh, to remove the handcuff. Go! go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh. We need to keep moving. This way. Dead Nikki? Whoa. Just stay I close. I knew there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Oh, man. This is bad. 
Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Mm. Just give me a sec. Come on, come on! You know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on! You clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <laughs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A scene- Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? Well, they have like 520, 300, 37, 310. There's another one. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine, ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost. There. A big grid available. The factions, creatures, just out of four different creatures. The lemma's supposed to be here because it's still a creature, even like you don't fight them. Is like skill point available? Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or Peter. Just show me have like one skill point available. Blood saber. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So, what's the good news? They're not dead. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a yeah, corpsman. Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. That sounds like Enough kind of people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? You literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ah, ever had. Ah, more skin cool. here. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? Love a lord. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. Sick. So far we have two skins yeah, for I get Quill and one skin for Groot. We use the, the Groot skin from the movie Gar Gar Gardens of Galaxy. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it. I um I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Okay, wow. That's okay. <laughs> just blatantly. Yeah, but a little, a lot of like little and locations to like pass through into there. a dead uh, end. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must oh, stay close at all times. Really got them all memorized, don't you? 
Any day now. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just Shatari. a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controller. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape <laughs> pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep, that's her. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Yeah, a lot of component parts here. We have seven, uh, almost 800 already. Yeah, could you please try to keep up? Hey, you try walking around in cuffs. I'm still in charge here, you know? Of course you are. It's a dead end. Trust me. This seems like of a lot. Of course I trust you. Yeah, it was Clearly. a lot. Quick reminder that only one of us. This is another one of your bots? Yeah, her name's Jocasta. Uh, she keeps an eye out for stuff. Invaders, trespassers, prisoners who keep wandering off. Okay. Get back here, pirate. Wow, wow, okay. Could have sworn I heard Corel there for a second. If this is an attempt you to escape bossy. your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. Well, we're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding, which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Okay, more stuff in the back here. The Universal Translator. Huh. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Speaks Groot. Oh, that's sure, like, uh, he can, like, speak. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also so really into all this tech <laughs> stuff. Is this Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Limits. No adults. I get it. Come anyway, on. I'm all done here. We what should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. Imagine if he grew his her so, father. You get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool <laughs> she is, but that's it. But the dialogues with this game is like pretty cool. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Oh. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Mm. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-OK. -okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. 
Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner! You're a child! Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa! We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and <clears throat> recognize that <laughs> maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said and more about what I'm saying now. What you did was extremely dangerous. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well. You have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you <laughs> being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Isn't this like against galactic law or something? Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. <laughs> well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? <laughs> Oh. oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? <laughs> she really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. <laughs> Unless so you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep, bop, boop, 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 beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. <sighs> Damn. But you got the key to be able to, like, rotate inside the ship. So, it means you can get the locations with your slot. Was not be able to go without a key, so, so maybe day, can get huh? some extra stuff there. Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. Can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. 
He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same... I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still... whatever it is you're gonna finish that sentence with. You're gonna pay 7,000 units? In three cycles? Wow, um... Okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on... I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four. Not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. Okay, well, let's do that. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small size. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically oh, an MI6 Thanos? agent, but okay. way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? Don't you go bother someone else. I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clipped! So are you? You cannot hide behind this door forever! Drax, let it go! Nobody's stashing units! <laughs> we shall see. Thanks for telling him. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Uh, can you upgrade me? Pretty please? Fine, fine. I'll make you dumb stuff. Just tell me what you want. Your dumb stuff. <laughs> okay, this is gonna quick pressing charge. Okay. Fire rate double with the health is below 25%. This is a thousand. Slow time briefly with dodging at least a second. 
avoid falling prone, prone by dashing when hit with a knockout blow. Increase shield regeneration by 30% per second. Should this shield more quickly in combat? It's all yours. This is this is important. Small marvel crafted. Okay, so we have six. At Oof! Got a crick in my back because of that. There, all set. Anything else? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one <laughs> other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scud wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather, I'd turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. You better. This is like um Oh, this is the room with all the stuff I found. Why does this thing look so sinister? Hey, I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. <laughs> I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course. A spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists use these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? Hmm. When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. <laughs> you gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. It well, we didn't know. <laughs> what I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard her die, Quill. Oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... 
Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, Rocket. For real. Mm, damn. What was that kind of story? I think I'm more gonna come here for a conversation. Let me go down there. <laughs> the love is here though. Ah, looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Group! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Lost in translation, the language of the trees. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. <laughs> I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. I am Groot. Uh, never mind. I'll get out of your hair. Or, or branches, or... whatever. This is Groot's bathroom. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flark and fine. Okay. Super cool.
That looks cool. System data. Oh, I hear all the music. Sweet tracks. Okay, let me. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Root, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So you talk with all of them? So you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good, because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... an Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor. Our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Dark, you open, please. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the <laughs> dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. So I think we need to go to his bedroom and sleep. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really?